All right, folks, we are now going to broach the most difficult subject of our journey, and that is opacity masking. Uh, <laughs> ready? I approach this with trepidation, folks, but here we go. To get started, I want to uh, bring a piece of clip art into this design, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go steal some clip art from Microsoft, and I've already done it. I've already selected a good patriot here, George Washington, father of the country. All right, so I'm going to copy him from PowerPoint, hitting Control-C, bring him into Illustrator. <coughs> I have to be careful where I put this layer, so let's go to the layers palette, and I want to paste him onto a, his own layer, and I want that layer to be above the background layer, but below the Patriot layer. So with this layer highlighted, I'm going to hit Control V and bring George right in there. And I'm going to double click on the layer and name it George. All right. You can see George right there, folks. And let me, let me turn this layer off. It's just going to get in the way. Hit the E key to get the free transform function, and let's enlarge George. Now, with George selected, I want you to right-click, go to Transform, Reflect. We want George facing the other way, all right? Vertical, 90 degrees, preview it. He's facing the other way now. Good to go. Let's move him over here. This is where George is going to end up residing in the finished product. Let's place him approximately where we want him to go. Now, with the George layer highlighted, now first let me move this because I'm going to need to, I'm going to need you to be able to see a few of my palettes here. Let's expand the transparency palette. Okay, now, working on the George layer still, get the rectangle tool, and I want you to draw a rectangle straddling this border just like this, straddling the border on all sides, except obviously the left side, so right about there. Looks good. Release it. Now you want to fill it with white. Ours filled with white because that's the last thing we drew was a white rectangle. Now, I'm going to get more tricky, folks. First let me zoom in and make sure it's approximately the right place, straddling the border. Scroll around a little bit, and it is. Not that we couldn't adjust that later, but it's looking good. Looking good. Okay, let me zoom in and pan over. Now, let's open the George layer up. And I want to select both that rectangle and George. All right. Now I want to come to the transparency palette. I want to go to the drop-down menu, and I want to say Make Opacity Mask. All right, now, what just happened? Let me hide the selection outlines on George. Now, remember, he's still selected, but we hid the selection outlines. Here's the opacity mask that just occurred. Now, imagine this opacity mask, this chip right here. Imagine it's sitting on top of George, all right? Where there's white, you can see through to George. Where there's black, you cannot see through to George. The fact that clip check mark is set right here clips out the area outside of where that rectangle is. You see, if I unclip it, you're going to see all of the George that was outside of that rectangle. We don't want that. We want to clip what was outside of that rectangle. Now, here's the tricky part. We want to use a gradient to make part of George visible and part of George not visible. Basically what we want to do is go from not being able to see George down here to being able to see George up here. And that translates to this opacity mask being opaque down here and transparent up here. Now it gets confusing, I know, but just keep in mind where it's white, we can see through to George. So we want it white up here, and we want it black down here. Now let's go ahead and apply the gradient. Click on that. Now hit Control-Z if you made the mistake I did. 
First, you want to select the opacity mask. Okay, you see up here now we're working on the opacity mask. Now, apply that gradient. Now, here's another problem, folks. I set this up to, uh, to demonstrate something. This black that I'm using is not completely void of luminosity. And that's why it's not completely blocking out George up here. It's easily fixed. Just select that little stop right there. Go to your color palette. Go to the drop-down menu and set all your RGB sliders to zero. Okay, now it's a fully rich black with no luminosity and it'll completely block out George wherever there's black, as you can see here. So, here's what we want to do now. Get your gradient tool. Now you're going to be drawing from white to black. Okay, now white, you're going to see through to George. So up here we want it white, down here we want it black. So draw like this. And play with it until you get it how you think George would be uh, most comfortable. Okay? There. That's the way I choose to make it. All right. That's it, folks. I guess it wasn't that painful after all. And we're going to go on to make some adjustments to hide, hide the rest of George below this border and uh, move on from there. We're going to move on to blend modes. That's, that's an exciting subject. And we'll do so after these commercial words once again.